In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Astra CLI. This tool provides a command line interface in a terminal to operate Astra DB. The goal is to offer access to any feature without having to utilize the user interface. A few of the top commands that you'll use are list databases, create database, delete database, and much more. To start off, we have an organization in Astra DB, and we currently have no databases. Let's install the CLI tool in our command line. If successful, you will see this output for the Astra shell, and you'll be prompted to open a new terminal and run Astra setup. After running that command, we'll be prompted to enter a token. We can create that token by heading over to the Astra UI, clicking on the dropdown and organization settings. Then token management, and we are gonna select a role, administrator user, and generate token. From there, you'll see the token value. We can copy it, and we will paste it in our terminal, and then hit enter. And you can see we are now connected to Astra through the CLI. And one quick note, don't forget to download these token details and store them in a safe place to save for later. And next up, we are going to check that the CLI is configured properly. As you can see here, we have access to the Astra CLI organization in Astra DB. Here, we are creating a database named CLI test with a key space named test. Now you can see that the database CLI test does not currently exist and it's being created. Let's list our databases. As you can see here, we have one database CLI test and the current status is pending. Just to confirm everything worked, let's head back over to the dashboard. Here we can see our current org is Astra CLI. We have one new database CLI test and the current status is pending. It looks like everything is set up and working correctly. Back in the command line, let's pull in some database information from CLI test. And here you see we have some of our database details, including cloud provider, region, and key space. Now that our database is active, let's connect to the CQL shell. We'll do that by running this command. Now that connection is being established and we can run queries directly against our database CLI test. We are going to start by navigating to our key space test. Within that key space, we are going to describe tables. As you can see, we currently have no tables created. I loaded some sample data with a list of Chipotle stores from our data loader. When I run describe tables, you can see this table within our database. Now to make sure our output is formatted, we'll execute expand on. Then let's run a select statement to query the table. We're selecting all from Chipotle stores with a limit of one. And here you can see formatted output with the location of a Chipotle store. Let's exit the shell. And back in the CLI, we are going to delete our database. Once that command has been executed, you can now see that the database is being deleted. One last time, let's list our databases. Here you can see we have CLI test and the status is terminating. And that's a basic overview of the Astra CLI. To view the full functionality of this tool, head over to Awesome Astra to view the documentation.